it's your girl gel beauty 87 here and today we're gonna get into a battle of the situation so y'all remember i did a um the frasali um liquid powder against that neutrogena um primer well of course who else with makeup revolution would come up with a liquid powder pore blurring makeup serum so i got this on alter's website for like 12 bucks and as soon as i saw it i was like up oh, they coming for frasali's neck like, people have been coming from Fersali and, um, what do you call it, Elf? I mean, not Elf, Fersali. And some of the other primer brands for a while now. Like, people have been coming for Hydra Grip and people have been coming for Tatcha Silk Canvas. So, I was thinking about um, giving my top five favorite um, recommendations for, like, primers since everybody wanted to do um, the high-end primer. So, let me know because I got some of them sitting next to me now and I can just do a little quick Instagram video for y'all instead of making a whole YouTube video. But, um, we'll see. Anyway, this retails for $12. It is 0.64 fluid ounces or 19 milliliters. Let's see how much Farsali is. Um, that's Okay, yeah, this one is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. So you get one whole fluid ounce. But again, this is like $54. And this is only 11 so I'm like, okay. So what you do with this is shake well, apply over entire face or to oily areas. Massage into skin until fully absorbed. If XX powder blend with fingertips, use with or without makeup. That's what the Farsali one says. So it's been a while since I used this product. I think I used it um, recently, but I haven't. I never really used this a lot just because I didn't like consistency when I first tried it, if you all remember correctly. Um, to me, this is more of a summertime thing anyway. But it's powder, the powder dried all around the bottle, so. Hold on, please, while y'all work with me. We're going to obviously make this a Farsali size since I have already started squishing it on my face. The only thing I feel like it's going to be hard is <clears throat> trying to get half the nose, but, you know. I'm going to make sure go half a line up the side of the nose and then you try, like, right there. I don't know. That's one thing I hate about doing half the face like you have to try to do half the nose and i hate doing lip reviews too because you have to do half the lip and it just feels weird only put lipstick on half your lip but those i feel like are easier than these so yeah there we go so it feels like nice and dried into a powder formula on the face. I feel like this is good for people who want primers to blur the face and um, you want to do the Jackie Anna method, but you don't want to have to actually put translucent powder on top of your primer. This might be good for you. So now we're going to take Versali. Now the liquids aren't the exact same color. Y'all saw the other one was a little bit of pink. This is like a more sheer, clear, white pink. And this is way more liquidy, as you see, because I just did that little drip. I'm going to have to do a little one on my forehead because I don't want a whole line going into my eyes. So it's good to see that we saw that. And with this one, it says, sorry, it doesn't say on here. Maybe it says on the box. Where did I put the box? That's it. Oh, I put the box on the bed. So I'm going to just do it the way I did the following one since I threw the box over there. And then we're just gonna take it halfway down the nose on this side, a hill, and rub it into here. Oh, it ran all up underneath my chin. Hold on, that's it. And plus, then you get down here and right here. So, let's see. Okay, this one doesn't feel powdery dry, even though it's supposed to be liquid powder like that. It's supposed to be a liquid powder. According to the box, it says, make a priming serum that dries down to a powdered effect, supporting skin's hydration whilst helping to mattify and blur pores. So maybe it just takes this one a little bit longer to dry down. So I guess we'll give this one a couple more minutes to dry down before we put on makeup. Because of course, y'all know I like to put products on on top of things so you can see how they perform. I'm going to try this one out again tomorrow on its own. So, because I have to take Instagram um, pictures 
on Mondays. I usually try to take them on Fridays and Mondays, but realistically, I usually just end up doing them on Saturdays and Mondays and just filming videos on Friday. So, uh, anyway. Okay, it's starting to feel powdery now, but it doesn't instantly dry down to a powder finish the way this Farsali one does. But again, the Farsali one is $54, so it should dry down in this time and fashion. So we're going to use the Synchro Skin today. This is the original. I did order the new one, though, so it will be coming. Oh, also, the reason we have one eye on is because I am going to film a tutorial on Instagram with the new Iceland palette. Sorry, y'all. It's like something stuck in my eyeball. Um, so we're going to film the Iceland palette. And I already did two looks for y'all on um, Facebook, so I forgot to give y'all one on Instagram. I need a drink of cranberry juice. Okay. Okay, this still doesn't feel like super dry and powdered down. But I don't know if that whole squirt was too much. But I feel like that wasn't that much, so I don't know. I wear the shade 510 Suede in this, if anyone's curious. Let me just pump some in the back of my hand. It's a liquidy product. It's not super liquidy, but it is somewhat liquidy. So I have a feeling I'm going to have to put on another pump. But we're going to start off with this one pump. I'm going to try the ABH highlighter with you all today as well. I did in another video, but the video was so long. So it's like I didn't want to, you know, have y'all sitting there watching for like 45, 50 minutes. Even though the video is quite long. Because y'all know the first day when I tried a foundation, I have to um, let you see how products lay over it and all that. So that's why my first day videos take so long. And then the second day, I battled it against another foundation. But you all will see that coming um, sometime next week. I have not gone home yet to, like, organize the way I normally organize my um, videos. Because I pre-film a whole bunch of stuff. And I just have that organized to go up. And then I have to go between videos and change videos and all that. Because I, um, you know, had pre-filmed some stuff to do up and then some other stuff came out and came up but it's like i never wanted to be like you come to my channel there's like nothing to watch there's like no new video i try to make sure there's always some new video it might not be exactly what you want to see but i always make sure there is something for you to see so that you don't forget about me mm -hmm. so my foundation is named pretty nice on top of the primer I'm feeling like I want another layer of foundation though, just because I, since I didn't spot conceal the way I normally do, I can see some spots and other things. And because it's a, such a liquidy consistency, I feel like it didn't give that much coverage. So let's go ahead and do another full pump. But this foundation is nuts. And I love how it refreshes itself throughout the day so I don't have to worry about like blotting as much. I feel like this one would be really good for the summer. The one they just came out with recently is Radiant, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about that one because, you know, I'm glad it came out in the wintertime, though, for the oily skin people who are going to try it out so then that way you can, excuse me, see if it will work for you. And then that might just be your winter Shiseido foundation and then, you know, your summer one would obviously be the one I'm putting on now. And so far, here the shade range is the same. They have 30 shades in it, which I was pretty impressed with, I guess, because since Shiseido is not an American brand, I didn't know how many shades they were going to come out with. I thought they were going to be like, you know, maybe 10 or something like that, because I know um, the other foundation I just tried um, yesterday for the second day, it um, was, it only had 11 shades, and I was like, oh. Well, it was like drugstore, so. And it was a foreign brand as well, but. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to cover that we got on this now. So now that you all have seen if product goes off of it, I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera. Then we can come back and use this um, ABH highlighter and see how it goes. Because I'm nervous. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to give it a whole dedicated video or not. Because this is actually the second time I have used it. Because I used it yesterday and was going to put it in that video. But that video was already kind of long. And I was like, I didn't want to make it super long. And it's already super long because it has two-day wear test in it. So I was like, okay. But anyway, I will come back and we'll check on this ABH highlighter. So I'll be right. Okay, y'all. So I got the rest of my face on. So I figured I'd come back and give y'all the eye style highlighter from... um. ABH. 
So this was 34 bucks. This is what it looks like on the inside. It gives me Amreezy vibes just with like the pattern and the packaging and everything. But um, Amreezy seems to be more of a champagne gold than this one. Um, I'm going to do swatch comparisons on Instagram and a whole little tutorial or whatever. But if we guys if y'all see what it looks like on camera here on YouTube as well. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually really loving this color. It gives me very trophy wife vibes without like the enormous amount of glitter that's in trophy wife. So I feel like they just tried to come for trophy wife with this one, but with a different approach and making it look icy and white. But that's all it says to me. It's like a subtle version of trophy wife without as much glitter. So that's what this is. And I'm using a Sigma tapered highlighting brush to put it on. What number is this? This is the E, sorry, the F35. I'm so used to using eye brush, so I'm automatic like E this and E that. Like, no, girl, this is a nice brush. But y'all know I love me a good Sigma brush, so. Sigma brushes are just everything. Like, I use mostly Sigma and rougher brushes. I'll occasionally use like some Luxie brushes or some Elf brushes or some ColourPop brushes, but as a general rule, I'm all about that um, Luxie. I mean, all about that Sigma and rougher life. Lately, I've been trying to use my rougher brush a little bit more, especially when it comes to my high-end um, palettes, but you know. Okay, y'all, so this is what the highlighter looks like. I'm going to... Um, Go ahead, finish my face off camera. Then I will come back and check in with y'all later on tonight with most likely a different eye look, but probably both the eyes will be done, I can guarantee. And then I will um, tell you all how I feel about the primer and how it held up. Now, do keep be advised that because it is summertime, I mean, because it's not summertime, I feel like I'm not going to be secreting as much oil for my pores as I normally do because it's wintertime here in Chicago so just bear that in mind while we trying this this would probably be something better to try in the spring in the summertime but since they it came out now and I knew people might be curious I would try it out now so um I'll catch up with y'all later so I have returned yes it is the end of the night it is 9 30 agent game over made me stay with him in the room till he fell asleep before i could come and do this or else i would have done it ahead of time but alas we are here yes i'm wearing a bucket hat and a very colorful eye situation but y'all know how it goes down over here we do color all the time this is a new palette that you will see coming this week i believe it's a new palette from la girl i just used all the colorful shadows in there because as y'all can see it just had my colorful dreams in it um anyway I'm going to go ahead and um, talk about this primer now since that's what you came here for. So, um, this is the Farsali side, remember? And this is the Makeup Revolution side. So, believe it or not, I feel like they look exactly the same. I looked before, you know, I came up here because I had to make sure my hat was on straight. But um, I feel like my face looks exactly the same. Like, I don't see any difference except for, obviously, the price point. Now, it does take a lot longer for this side to dry down to the powder finish. But that just could be because I had a lot, a lot on a small amount of my face. Because I didn't expect it to drip the way it did in the beginning of the video. But anyway, um, I feel like, you know, we're working with something pretty good here. And since the Farsali one is $54 and this one is only $11, you could buy, like, four of these compared to, like, one of these. The same thing with the e.l.f. one I did a while ago. I'll try to remember to link that up above. But um, the e.l.f. blurring primer serum or whatever is the same as the Frisali Skin Tune Blur. So, I'm like, yeah, uh, everybody just out here duping them. So, I'm like, I wonder what they're going to come up with next to, to kind of stay relevant. Because I feel like a lot of the time they're not anymore because a lot of the stuff that they had that was popular, people been duping, like... I don't know, but I definitely recommend this one. Just wait a little while for it to dry down to that powder finish because otherwise it's not going to hit you with that. But as you can see, let me know down below. Do you feel like my face looks different? Because I feel like this side looks the same as this side when it comes to oil control. My nose, y'all know, is always oily. So you just keep her out of the equation. But like right here and right here, I feel like it held the oil down nicely because they both look exactly the same. I use the exact same setting powders and everything off camera to save time. But y'all saw I put on the setting foundation. And it probably doesn't help that I use the Synchro Skin Foundation because it refreshes itself. So maybe we should try it again with something else. But I needed to get re accolated with that particular foundation since the um, Radiant one is coming next week. But anyway, this is what's going on here. I definitely recommend you at least try it out for 11 bucks, because, I mean, who wants to pay 54 when you don't have to, sis? So 
that was my thoughts and this i look is coming to a youtube page near you so stay tuned so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are dimes i'll catch you guys in the next one